What's going on, fellow e-bikers? Uh, it's been a while since I cut a, a video. Uh, wanted to give you a quick update on what's happening out here. Uh, first thing I want to describe in the background, you'll see a snow-capped mountain. That's uh, Mount Charleston. Uh, it's about 11,000 feet. Uh, there's a ski resort up there. And uh, where I'm photographing or uh, recording this is uh, really only about eight miles from where I live in Pahrump, Nevada which is about 40 miles outside of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is right over that away, about 40, 45 miles. And um, I moved here uh, shortly after I retired. I uh, worked as a software engineer all up and down the coast of uh, California. And once I retired, I didn't have to be in that madhouse of traffic and congestion. And it was not a very friendly place to ride, even a, a road bike. And I love Death Valley, so I thought I'd try to find a place closer to it. And Death Valley is only about 40 or 50 miles as well from Pahrump. And uh, this area that I'm photograph or recording this in is uh, it's referred to as BLM land, Bureau of Land Management. And it's uh, public land. Anybody can come out here and uh, you can actually camp out here. I've not seen too many of them, but it's only about eight miles from my house. So it's just perfect. I can jump on my bike and within uh, five minutes, I'm out in the Mojave Desert. This is part of the Mojave Desert. And as you can see, there's really no sign of any, any human artifacts out here. Just very peaceful and tranquil and, and uh, quiet. I, I really love it. Uh, on the bike side, uh, let's see, the last time I uh, had a video, I had about 2,000 miles on it. Probably pushing about 2,500 miles on it now. Uh, no problems. Well, there I did have a problem, or I, I am having a problem with one of the motor, uh, and uh, Biconic is uh, working with me uh, on getting that repaired. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, still looking forward to the upgrade. I'm going to upgrade the bike to an MD1000, waiting on uh, the roll-off hubs. Evidently, they're quite in demand and they have to go through customs in New York and it's been like about two months now and I've been waiting on it, but uh, I'm definitely excited about that. Uh, this environment that I have to ride, I think you can notice the bike is pretty pretty dirty. And this, this uh, soil that we have here is called poof dirt and it's just like powder and it gets in the chain and this is the second chain. I just checked it tonight and I'm gonna have to replace it again uh, which probably isn't that bad, uh, 2,500 miles, uh, two chains. Uh, but still, with the new upgrade to the uh, uh, Gates carbon fiber belt and uh, roll-off hub, uh, it's going to be almost a zero maintenance uh, uh, train. But again, as far as the bike is concerned, I really love it. It's uh, I, I've checked around, uh, looked around for another bike comparable to this, and I, I couldn't find any. There are other bikes out there with dual batteries, and they claim that they're uh, backcountry bikes, but most of them are hub drives, and they have uh, the batteries are like a kludge and afterthought. They're just hung on there. And as you can see, I'm riding right now with only one battery. Uh, and that seems to be sufficient for a moderate uh, ride in the desert. So um, again, great bike. Uh, really highly recommend uh, either this one or the MD1000 uh, when they are available. And um, the tech support, I just can't say enough of, about tech support. It's just great. I mean, I can send an email and there's a time difference between here and, and uh, China. and uh, Less, less than a day, I get a response back from, from Helen. Helen is the uh, tech support rep, I guess, over there. And just very responsive, very cooperative. Uh, it means a lot when you buy a product to have good aftermarket support. And uh, so far, Biconic has uh, really uh, stepped up to the plate and uh, uh, is supplying good aftermarket support. So that's about it for this uh, video. It's starting, the sun is starting to get down low. It gets really cold out here in the winter time, but uh, today, the middle of January, it's almost 70 degrees, but at night, because of the clear skies and the higher elevation, uh, this is considered high desert. We're about 3,000 feet above sea level. It gets pretty cold at night, so 
got to get back to my house before it gets too cold. So you guys uh, ride safe. <laughs>